With all of your pre-surgery screening and preparations done, your surgery day will finally arrive. Please come at the time and location given to you. Depending on the location of your surgery, parking options will vary. Please leave plenty of time to arrive safely. When you arrive for surgery, the first stop is check-in at the patient registration desk. Good morning, how are you today? You'll be asked to confirm your identity with a picture ID and provide proof of insurance. Any co-pays will be collected at this time. After this, you'll receive a patient identification band. Your nurse will greet you and then take you to the preoperative holding area. It's normal to feel a little nervous, but please know, we'll guide you through the process. You'll be asked to change into a hospital gown. Some patients will get a pair of yellow non-skid socks and a yellow wristband. These items let everyone know you're at risk for falling due to your surgical procedure. They remind us to pay special attention to you. Our goal is to keep you safe and prevent you from falling. While in pre-op, we'll check your blood pressure, heart rate, and draw blood if any labs are needed. The information you gave during your pre-anesthesia interview will be reviewed and updated if needed. We'll double check that all the proper pre-surgery paperwork has been signed. You and your surgeon will confirm and mark the area of your surgery. Our team may use clippers around the surgical site to remove extra hair. To further ensure your safety, the area around your surgical site will be cleaned again. In pre-op, a small, thin tube called an IV line will be put in your veins so you can receive fluids and medications before, during, and after your surgery. You'll talk with your anesthesiologist. This is the doctor who provides anesthesia, which keeps you free from pain during surgery. They'll review your history with you to be sure nothing important has been left out. They'll also review the risk and benefits of the type of anesthesia that is best for you. You'll be asked to sign a consent form for the anesthesia. If you have any last minute questions, please ask us. We're happy to provide answers. We want you to be as comfortable as possible. Next, you'll be taken to the operating room. My surgical experience at Duke was excellent. Mildly sedated, but still awake when I went into the operating room. And I was absolutely astounded. I, my first reaction was, this is all for me? When I went, in, went into the operating room, I noticed there was a whole lot of people. And they all introduced themselves and what their job was. I never knew people's names before in an operation other than the surgeon. And uh, they all seemed to be very at ease and very happy working with each other. And I could tell if they were working that well as a team, I felt like I was probably in pretty good hands. You'll be asked again to confirm who you are, what is being done, and what area of the body you'll be having surgery on. The anesthesiologist will give you medicine into your IV line and you'll drift off to sleep. The OR team is committed to your safety. Your surgical site and the area around it will be cleaned again. And your first dose of an IV antibiotic will be given to reduce the chance of infection. You may have a catheter placed in your bladder for urine collection after you're asleep. We're going to do time out for Ms. Tara Arte. Before the surgery begins, the surgeon will call a time out. The team will go through a surgical checklist designed to ensure your safety. Team members will introduce themselves in their specific roles. Your name, procedure, and surgical site will again be confirmed. Your surgery may vary in the length of time depending on the type of spine surgery you're having. With your permission, we'll update your family and friends about your progress several times throughout the procedure. When your surgery is done, your team will begin to wake you up. When you're ready, we'll take you to our recovery room. In some of our surgery facilities, this is called the post-anesthesia care unit, or PACU. This is a recovery area where you'll be closely monitored by specially trained nurses. Your friends and family may be able to join you while in this area if permitted. Regardless, we'll continue to update them about your progress. 
The recovery room nurses will check your blood pressure and other vital signs often. We'll put a small monitor on your finger to measure your oxygen level. Some patients will need oxygen tubing in their nose while they're waking up. Some patients, especially those that have longer surgeries, may get IV fluids and other medicines while in the recovery room. You'll notice a dressing over the surgical area. Wound dressings control bleeding and protect from infection. A quick note, if you're being scheduled for an outpatient spine surgery, please skip ahead to the video entitled Outpatient Spine Surgery.